Hey, welcome back to 65 Drums. My name's Justin. Today we're going through the entire Elisa's lineup to see which drum sets are worth buying and which ones I would personally stay away from. Drum set number one is the Elisa's E Drum Total, coming in at $279. The Elisis E-Drum Total, which also goes under the brand name Elisis Debut in some places, is a drum set bundle I would stay away from. It comes with a drum throne, the sticks, and the headphones. That's probably the reason why this drum set is selling so well with parents, but I would stay away from this. The snare and toms are only 6 inches across. The drum rack is incredibly small, and the drum pedals are these plasticky Casio keyboard style things that aren't going to teach any kids proper technique. The kid is going to outgrow this drum set incredibly quickly, meaning the parents are going to have to buy a second drum set, wasting even more money. So buying a better drum set on the list will save you time and money in the long run. So next up, we have the Elisa's Turbo Mesh, coming in at $300. The Elisa's Turbo Mesh is better in several ways. The first is that the snare and tom pads are now 8 inches across instead of 6 inches across and the hi-hat and kick drum pedals are upgraded. The only downside of going with this kit is that you don't get those dollar store headphones and you don't get that drum throne. The drum set is not quite on my buy list though because it doesn't have a kick drum tower, so I would upgrade to the third drum set on the list. The Elisis Nitro Mesh is the cheapest Elisis drum set I would personally buy. The main upgrades are to the drum module and the kick drum tower. This one actually has one, which I think is vital to learning proper technique. You need to have a real kick drum pedal hitting an actual surface of some kind. The only thing to caution you on though is that while it technically can work with double pedals, the beaters are touching the very edges of the pad and you have to crank the sensitivity in the module, so this is not really a drum set you would want to learn metal on. So the kick drum tower is a great upgrade but they've also improved the module. This is now the Nitro module. In addition to having USB MIDI, it also has MIDI in and out ports, it's got more sounds, and it has more editing capabilities. In fact, I don't think the previous drum sets could do any sound editing at all. And finally, you get expansion ports if you want to make the drum set a little larger. Now the tricky thing is that there are multiple versions of this drum set. The first iteration is the Nitro SE, which is basically the exact same thing with a red coat of paint, and a module with a tinted red screen. The next variation is the Elisis Nitro Mesh Expanded Edition, which takes advantage of those two expansion ports and gives you a second crash and a fourth tom pad. And the final version of the Elisis Nitro is the Mesh Expanded Edition SE. So it comes in red, but it's pretty much exactly the same. I came across one of these at a guitar center, but since then they don't seem to really sell it on their online stores last time I checked. Now let's move ahead to the next drum set on the list, the Elisis Surge Mesh, coming in at $580. So what are the upgrades if you go with this set versus the previous one? Both drum sets have the exact same module and cymbals, but everything else is upgraded. The toms on the Surge are dual zone. You get a larger mesh kick drum instead of rubber. The snare drum is now 10 inches across instead of 8 inches across. And finally, the drum rack is heavier duty and taller than the one on the Nitro. So to me, those are some pretty significant upgrades. But the problem is, if you take a look at the Nitro Mesh Expanded and the Surge, you'll have to make a choice between having more components or having upgraded components. If I had to pick between the two, I would go with the Surge Mesh because I really hate 8-inch snare drums. This one is a little bit larger, meaning that I'll feel more at home when I play this. I enjoyed using this drum set when I tested it at Sweetwater. I need to have a drum rack that's a little bit taller because I'm really tall. And then finally, I'd rather have dual zone tom pads versus single zone ones. So that's why I would personally go with the Surge but I do understand why some people might kind of sway towards going with the Nitro Mesh Expanded. The next drum set on the list is the Elisa's Command Mesh, coming in at $800.
There is only one upgrade if you go with this drum set, and that's the module. Instead of getting the Alesis Nitro, you're getting the Alesis Command module. It's just a little bit more advanced, and that's the reason for that big price jump. For those that care, I'll put the specs on screen so you can decide if the module upgrade is worth it for you. But here's the thing. The whole point of going with an Alesis drum set around the five dollars to $800 price range is the fact that you're getting a large mesh drum set for a low amount of money. And the way Alesis makes this happen is cheaping out on how good the modules are and some of the quality of the components. If you're trying to buy an Alesis drum set and you're worried about the drum module, you're kind of missing the point of going with Alesis at all, at least in my opinion. If I was gonna buy an Alesis drum set around this price range, I would step down to the Alesis Surge Mesh because it's the exact same pad set, just with a lower tier module. So there is one other version of the Alesis Command, and that's called the Alesis Command X Mesh. This drum set costs another $100, so it's $900 now, and what you're getting is a second crash symbol and a red coat of paint on everything. Now let's move ahead to the next drum set on the list, the Elisa's Crimson 2 SE, coming in at $1,100. Hello, Jamie from Alesis Drums here to show you our newest drum kit, the Alesis Crimson 2 Special Edition. Now this drum set is significantly better than the command line of drums in many different ways. The first, you're getting an actual three zone cymbal with a bell zone, which is really, really nice. Another thing is that you're getting a 12 inch snare that comes on a snare stand. I really like that. And also you're getting better drum heads on everything. There are these thicker white mesh heads that I enjoy the feel of playing a little bit more. The crashes are two inches larger, the hi-hat is two inches larger, and the floor tom is also two inches larger as well. When I play this drum set, I have a pretty good time. I like this kit. I still want to remind you that the kick drum is not the greatest, so if you do play a lot of double kick, I would avoid this set, but still, it's a decent drum set. So one quick thing to mention before we jump ahead to the next drum set on the list is that this is the third version of the Elise's Crimson. We've got the Crimson 1, the Crimson 2, and the Crimson 2 SE. The Crimson 2 is still in some stores. You can buy it at Guitar Center right now for, I think, 800 bucks, so it's a, technically a better deal. I'm not putting it as an official drum set on the list, though, because I don't believe they're manufacturing it anymore, and eventually it will go out of stock. Okay, so now let's jump ahead to the next drum set on the list. The Elise's DM10 MK2 Pro, coming in at $1,400. So the Alesis DM10 on paper is a pretty nice drum set. You now get a fourth tom pad, the cymbals are larger, and the module, while it's not really that much better than the previous one, it's technically of a higher tier. But the problem for me is that when I sat down and played this drum set, I wasn't that impressed. The module sounds are really bad. You can get away with that on the cheaper drum sets. You know, Alesis is sacrificing the module in order to get you a larger drum set. That works great on the three and $500 drum sets, and they can even squeak by on the Alesis Crimson 2 SE. But when you start charging $1,400 or $1,500, you can't get away with that anymore. What I would do is either step back down to the Crimson or go up to the next drum set on the list, which is the Alesis Strike. So what does the Elisa Strike have to offer over the DM10 that we just covered? The first is that the kick drum is larger. It's a little bit more lightweight than I would like, but I do enjoy the larger size, and I think it is a better kick drum. The snare drum is now a full 14 inches across instead of being 12 inches across. The cymbals, while they're not really larger, they are upgraded. They're a different kind of cymbal that have a nicer feel to them. You're getting a hi-hat on a stand, and the drum module is leaps and bounds better than the Elisa's DM10. It's got faders on the front, it's got direct outs on the back. It's got a color screen, a massive sound library that has way more detail than on the previous module. Most of the sounds are not great, but there are some really standout kits that I greatly enjoy using. Now there are some downsides with going with this kit. The first is that you're losing out on a crash and you don't get that fourth tom pad. There's also an argument to be made that the previous hi-hat is better because a lot of people have issues with these versions of the hi-hats on the Elisa Strike. But the one thing that I've noticed that I don't feel like anyone's been bringing up is that this drum set is likely on its way out. This drum set will probably be upgraded at some point, I don't know when, 
to the Alesis Strike SE. If there is a new updated version called the Strike SE, you'll likely get all white mesh heads that I think feel a little bit nicer. You'll likely get the new updated hi-hat that's a little bit larger, and there's a possibility that you'll get the larger kick drum. So just keep that in the back of your mind if you're thinking about buying the baseline Elisa Strike. And that brings us to the final drum set on the list, the Elisa Strike Pro SE, coming in at $2,699. This is the biggest price jump between any drum set on the list. But that extra $800 does a lot. You get two extra crash cymbals, you get a larger hi-hat, you get a fourth tom pad, and a 20-inch kick drum that feels much heavier and much more natural. The mesh heads are also different, they come in white, and they feel a little bit heavier to me. This is the best electronic drum set Elisis has ever made. There have been hiccups and problems with this set though, it's not quite perfect. People complain about the ride cymbal, uh, people have mentioned they have had bad luck with the hi-hats, even though I haven't had any personal issues with it. So it's not quite perfect, but I feel like what Elisis has managed to do is toe that middle line where they're giving you a huge drum set with a good module while keeping the price pretty low. Obviously, Elisis doesn't have quite the quality of some of the Japanese electronic drum companies, but it toes that middle line and has pulled together a drum set that I feel like a lot of people would enjoy playing. And of course, if you need to have a really serious high-end electronic drum set that you want to play live or something like that, you can always buy you know, a more expensive drum set. There are plenty of other companies that are willing to take your money. But in my opinion, this drum set is pretty darn good for what it's trying to achieve. And that's the entire Elisis lineup. Go check out the other videos in the series about Roland's entire lineup and Yamaha's entire lineup if you want to learn more about those companies. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in a few.